everybody, this is uh, Chris with the Ancient Scholar, and today I've uh, gotten away, uh, this is only about four hours away from uh, from home for me. This is the uh, in Tucson, Arizona, this is the uh, Tucson Botanical Gardens, and uh, every every year from about uh, October to, to April, they do an exhibit called uh, Butterfly Magic here, um, where they bring in um, African butterflies primarily, and they have a large greenhouse um, in the uh, the gardens uh, devoted for that exhibit, but this year they've done something even uh, more. Uh, they've outdone themselves in a, in a certain sense, and uh, they have brought in poison dart frogs. Um, apparently, they have a couple dozen of them um, in um, the butterfly exhibit with the butterflies, and poison dart frogs frogs are all very interesting for me. Uh, because, obviously, because I'm I'm uh, studying uh, toxicology uh, and pharmaceutical sciences, uh, and uh, when we talk about some of the, the, the really potent neurotoxins that these these frogs can make, um, and uh, the possible uh, therapeutic uh, benefits uh, for some of these these toxins, there are several hundred of them, uh, the substances identified. Um, it's really interesting, so I'd really like to see that. And in addition to the frogs, are really, really have cool colors. They're very brightly colored, and generally in nature, bright means um, that uh, I'm, I'm poisonous. So we're going to take a look, uh, take some video, uh, get some pictures of both the, the, the butterflies and the, uh, the dart frogs, and uh, we'll see what you guys think. All right, we'll see you in there. Okay, we have found our first frog of the day here. So the first uh, two frogs that we're going to look at um, belong to the same uh, genus and species, and these are the Dendro Dendrobates tinctorius, or the what's known as the dying dart frog, and that's D, uh, dying with a D-Y. And these are, are, are called such because... Uh, what uh, one of the things that the uh, indigenous populations where these frogs come from, the, the people, uh, would um, take the secretions of the skin and actually rub those secretions onto uh, birds, I believe parrots, and it would cause the parrots to um, de develop really interesting colored feathers. Uh, so hence the, the name dying heart, dark frogs. You can see there are different couple, two different types of dying dark frogs that we're looking at. Uh, one that has kind of a, a, a yellow hood and blue legs, and then the other kind of has a, a black and white to yellow stripes with blue dots on it. The next uh, frog that we're going to be looking at is the Dendrobates leucomalis. This is the banded poison dart uh, frog, and uh, you can tell that we call it the banded uh, frog because of the uh, really distinct uh, black and a uh, yellow banding pattern that these uh, specific uh, species of poison dart frogs have. So the final poison dart frog that we're going to take a look at is the uh, Dendrobates um, azurus. Um, some people, however, uh, will 
consider this a, a, a subclass of the Dendrobates tinctorius. Um, and this is the very distinct blue poison dart frog. And you can see the very distinct uh, blue and black uh, color pattern in addition to the hunchback, the bilateral hunchbacking, um, makes this a very distinct uh, type of uh, blue uh, of poison dart frog.